Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Overlays. And if you've been uh, keeping up with all of my app reviews, you'll know that every now and again one comes along that I get really excited about because it's such a cool app with really cool features and this is one of them. So you'll definitely want to check it out. Right before we get to that, I want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags is the best place on the internet to get really cool Android themed NFC stickers and NFC keychains for use with your Android phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review. You can learn a lot of information about NFC if you don't know what it is and uh, find out just how cool it is and pick up some cool Android stickers and keychains as well. Um, anyway, getting right to overlays, uh, it's basically an app, I don't even know how to explain it, but it allows you to overlay widgets on top of your other screens, um, which just, if that's all it did, and that was it, it might not be a great app, but uh, the developers done a good job of implementing really cool settings to allow you to manipulate the way that happens and when that happens and how it happens, and that's what makes this app really cool and really exciting. So let's hop on my phone because uh, I want to show you some of the features and uh, show you, you know, how you set it up and how it works and why I think it's really awesome and something you should pick up right away. So here you are on my phone and uh, here is the soon to be infamous app overlays. Uh, let's click on that and let's hop inside this really awesome app. Uh, basically, you have two uh, methods for initiating overlays. You have globals and you have applications. Globals are overlays that will always be on and will be there uh, no matter what screen you're on. And then applications are apps, uh, overlays that initiate when a certain app is started. Uh, now what you want to notice is within either of these you have an on-off uh, general button. So in other words you can turn all your globals on or all your globals off uh, just by turning and pressing that button. And same thing, you can turn regardless of the individual status, you can turn all your application profiles on or all your application profiles off simply by tapping that button. So you can uh, easily, if you want to, set up uh, uh, globals and just jump into the app, turn them on, turn them off. Now if you have the uh, have them on in general, then each specific one you can turn off or on. For example, all of these are off right now. If I wanted to turn one on, then I would just click it over, which I can't do one-handed. There you go. And then it would be on. Or turn it off. Now if you want to uh, start a new one, you hit the plus button and you can create a new profile. I'm going to show you that in a second. First, I want to show you some of the cool things I've set up so you can just sort of see this in action. You see that right there? That is uh, through this app so that when I have, uh, anytime I go to my home screen, which is uh, my home launcher's ADW, that little icon pops up and I press that and from that I get all these apps I can launch. Which right now I've only put three in there because I was kind of testing it out. Now one thing that's cool and you'll see inside the app is eventually once you get used to knowing where that is, you can make that completely invisible so that nothing would be there. You would just know if you tap there, that shows up, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, another thing that you can do, uh, let's go into, actually let's go back into the app real fast so I can show you this. I'm going to applications and uh, go into, actually let me go back, go into globals, I can't remember which one is this one, let's, if you want to, uh, yeah, that's the one. So let's turn that one on. And it's a, uh, because it's a global, that means it's going to be there no matter what. It's going back to my home screen. And it's my, a music widget for uh, uh, Google Music. 
Now, no matter what screen I'm on, it's going to be there because it's a global. So it's there right now. Uh, if I hop into another app, let's go into uh, uh, let's go into NFC by Moo. That's another app. See, it's still there because it's a global, so it's always going to be there. And that's a full widget. Again, if I wanted that to go away, all I have to do is go into overlays and turn it off, and then it'll be gone. So now that you've seen sort of a few things you can do, let me show you how this works, how you uh, actually set this up. Uh, you want to add a new one. You go to Globals or Applications if you want it to be for a specific application. You click the plus button. You enter the name. Just go name. And then the profile state on or off. And then add overlays. So on your overlay screen, you have... Uh, several options here. You have widgets, which is if you want to add a widget itself. You have shortcuts, and that's the same thing as if you long press on your home screen and choose shortcuts, so any of the shortcuts that any of your apps have built into them. Widget shortcut, which is really cool. That's the one that you saw on my home screen uh, where I touched it and then the widget opened up. You could put that whole widget on your screen, but obviously you wouldn't want that widget always being on your screen. So I chose widget shortcut, put just a little shortcut up at the top, anytime I press that, it opens up the widget. Application shortcut, so that's obviously if you want to open an application, so you could do this for an application that you wanted to get, be able to get into anytime, anywhere. Uh, you could set up the application shortcut and then unread messages. So you can do unread message, messages and have those available anywhere. So very cool. Um, just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to do widgets. So you long press, and then you drag it, and then you get to choose the widget you want. Um, let's just choose uh, Conjure Search. It's an app that I, I reviewed once. And now we're going to put it kind of where we want it on our screen. You can make it bigger or smaller as you see fit, which is kind of cool. And then if you click, there's a little settings tab. If you click the settings tab, then you open it up and you can decide whether you want the widget's functionality to work. So maybe this is a widget, like a clock widget that tells time. You don't want to be able to tap it. You just want to be able to see the time. You would turn, you could turn that off. Then you can select the background color. Um, I have clear, but you can select anything you want, and then you can select the transparency. So you can have it completely invisible to completely visible, whatever you want. I made it kind of in the middle for the sake of this uh, illustration. And uh, so there it is. So that's it. Uh, if you wanted to, you could add another widget to this or a shortcut. You, could, you can add multiples on one setup. Um, we're just going to do the one. And then we're going to go back, and you can see it's on. So now let's go back to the home screen, and you can see there it is right there. Now one thing that's great is when you're on that white screen, you may think to yourself, well, how am I supposed to know exactly where I want this to be? Um, maybe you're not setting up a global. Maybe you're setting it up to only open up when you open up a specific app. And you want it in a specific spot, but on that white screen, you can't tell where. Well, the dev has you covered because once you, the widget is there, if you long press it, it puts it back into edit mode. So even though we're on my home screen right now, it's in edit mode. And I can change it and move it and configure it, put it exactly where I want it to be. So I can have the placement how I want it to be and the way I want it to be. And then when I'm done, just click save. Or you can even delete it from there if you want to. So that's a really cool feature. Um, that allows you, once you're back on the actual screen it's on, you can move it any way you want to. Um, now, just an example of why this might be cool. Let's say you wanted, you could set up uh, a row of apps here, widgets that has apps, and you could set it up so that it pops up anytime you're on your home screen. And you could leave this area of your home screen blank on all of your home screens, but that would always be there. As just one small example of something you could do. Um, and what makes this app even cooler, and I'm not going to show you how to do this on this review, I'm going to do a separate review of this, but this app integrates with Tasker. So if you have Tasker on your phone, anything that you use to trigger stuff in Tasker, you can uh, 
uh, trigger. You can use those same triggers for one of these widgets. Uh, I'm going to turn this off and just give you a quick example of uh, how that works. First, let me just remind you, these are the application ones. So these happen whenever there's an application involved. So now we're going to go to uh, Google Maps. Now, for some reason, in uh, inside Android, maps and navigation are seen as the same. And I wanted that whenever I'm using a nav Navigator for there to be a Google Music widget up at the top for me to be able to control music. Well, if I had that triggered with overlays, then any time I open Maps, it would also be there because Maps and Navigation are seen as the same to the Android system. So what I did is in Overlays, I, I created a small little uh, uh, widget button, shortcut button actually, that when I tap it, goes through Tasker to then pop up my music controls as well as my uh, AVX, the voice control app I use. So now if I'm navigating and I want that on, I just tap that little O and it appears. I tap it again and it disappears. That's done through Tasker um, because through Tasker you can trigger uh, uh, any overlays you want to trigger, which is really cool. So that's just another example of uh, uh, use of this app. Um, again, it's just a really cool app. Uh, there's just an unlimited number of things you could do. I mean, if you wanted to, you could set it up uh, with Tasker so that your, your home screen changes based on time of the day. Um, so you could have a different home screen throughout the time of the day. Or you could have just part of your home screen, like what's up at the top, you know, uh, uh, change. But uh, also just little things like being able to have those shortcuts. I mean, there are so many apps that uh, you might buy to do that. But with overlays, it's, built, it's just part of what you can do with it. So anyway, that's overlays. It's a pretty simple app, but the possibilities are really kind of endless. And uh, I'll be doing another review later to show you exactly how cool it is when paired with Tasker. So oh, that was the app overlays. As you can see from the uh, demonstration, it's a really cool app and uh, proves that widgets are no longer only for your home screen. Um, and that's what makes it so awesome. So uh, head over to the Play Store and uh, pick it up. I recommend just, you know, upgrade to the Pro version. doesn't cost that much. Definitely worth it. So uh, check that out. Um, if you like this review, please click the like button. Uh, if you have friends, family, whoever, who have Android phones and uh, might be interested in this app, then please share this video review with them. And subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with the latest Android app reviews, um, as well as I have some other playlists if you want to check out product reviews, dog product reviews, and other random, fun, funny, stupid videos. So you can check those out as well. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric, reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.